Hi, I'm Mike Stanton from Build America Mutual. I'm here with Kevin Roberts from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group. We're here for a Credit Insights video to talk about the New York State Dormitory Authority's School District Revenue Bonds Financing Program bonds, which will total about $750 million of new issuance coming to market this week as we talk on uh, May 10th. Kevin, thanks for being here this morning. Uh, sure. This is obviously a large transaction. Can you start by telling us how this transaction works? Who's benefiting borrowing the money under this uh, uh, structure? And how are they uh, repaying it? Sure. So this is, uh, you know, obviously the dormitor uh, dormitory authority of the state of New York. Uh, you know, it's a it's a pool issuance with 64 participants. Uh, those participants uh, are school districts within New York State, um, and generally, you know, this is a uh, benefits the school districts as it uh, lowers their cost of borrowing uh, issuing through the uh, dormitory authority. Uh, so the individual uh, participants receive proceeds from the dormitory dormitory authority. Uh, and allows them to uh, finance their capital projects within each uh, in, within their uh, respective school districts. Um, the repayment of those uh, notes that they make to the individual school districts are essentially uh, GOs and full faith and credit pledges of the individual school districts uh, to repay those uh, notes back to the the dormitory authority. And so, as you as an analyst come at, come at this transaction, how do you break it down? How do you assess its credit quality? Sure. So you know, as I mentioned, the the ultimate repayment source is a, a full faith and credit pledge and a and general obligation of the indi individual school districts to to repay their notes to the dormitory authority. Uh, and as such, you know, we need to uh, uh, analyze each individual school district uh, and their credit worthiness to participate as a participant in the, in the pool. Uh, so on our side, you know, from a credit analysis uh, standpoint, we know we look at each individual uh, participant. And so we looked at every school district and, and analyzed their ability to repay their notes to the dormitory authority. And let's break that down for a second. So sure. when you say you're looking at individual school districts, what are, what's the important drivers? What are the statistics you're looking at? Sure. So, um, you know, we look at the uh, ultimate demographic profile uh, of each school district, uh, their financial position, uh, their tax base, the trends within their tax base. Uh, and then we look at their debt profile and, you know, their ultimate ability to, to repay uh, their obligations back to DASNY. Um, and, you know, when, when we look at those, uh, you know, we, we found that the, the credit participants were, were strong. You know, we uh, had a very solid base of participants, I would say A rated or, or better. Um, and, you know, after, you know, COVID coming in, you know, the, the participants, I, I think, were very resilient, you know. They had uh, their share of struggles, but, you know, management uh, within the school districts were, were good. And, you know, the federal aid, I think, really helped these districts out. Oh, that's a great point. And then contextually, the, the normal revenue sources for these districts are, are pretty much ad valorem property taxes. Correct. correct. Yep. And, you know, that, that remains the case here. You know, the, they're using their tax base uh, and their ad valorem uh, property tax pledge to, to repay the, uh, the bonds, ultimately, for DASNY. And what happens if one of the school districts doesn't make its payment? What's the... Sure. So, you know, obviously as a primary source of repayment, we, we look at the uh, ability of those school districts to, to make their payments on, it, on time. Um, if there were to be a uh, mispayment uh, from the individual school districts, bondholders also, you know, benefit from an intercept mechanism. Uh, we find that the intercept mechanism uh, from both a me uh, mechanical standpoint and a timing standpoint is, is very good. Um, you know, the DASNY is required to notify the Commissioner of Education for the state of New York. Uh, if there's a missed payment um, prior, well ahead of the principal and interest payments due on the bonds, um, if there is a missed payment, uh, the Commissioner of Education speaks to the state controller, uh, and ultimately, you know, they they um, intercept any payable state aid to the individual um, participants uh, and pay those directly to the trustee. Um, you know, which gives us a, a good source of comfort. And you found that the uh, state aid due to the school districts in every year exceeds their debt services. Correct? correct. Yeah. So that was, uh, you know. Uh, a big part of our analysis. We wanted to make sure that the, the state aid did uh, cover the uh, required uh, note payments to the DASNY each year. And uh, on, you know, I would say each um, 
coverage ratio was above two times, uh, you know, ranging upwards of above 10 times, uh, depending on the school district that you looked at. Thanks. Last question. Um, you know, we always talk about diversity of revenue streams. You know, are any, is there any one school district that dominates this pool, or how, how widely distributed is it? There, there were a few uh, school districts that obviously received a, a larger percentage. Uh, you know, you have 64 participants and a, and a large issuance of about $750 million. Uh, but there was no concentration uh, within the, um, the greater pool. Uh, so th I think there was a good variety of, of school districts receiving funding from the from DASNY, um, and you know the the larger participants who received a, a greater uh, portion of the proceeds, you know, uh, are very uh, strong uh, school districts. Great. Well, thanks for uh, sharing some light on this. Uh, unusual one one time a year issue, uh, pretty much, yeah. but uh, but definitely a large transaction in the market right now. Thanks Absolutely. for your time. Yep.